Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a good day. Well, today I thought we'd work on this little beaded cross stitch because we hadn't done that for a while. Hang on, I'm trying to get to the picture here. And this is what it looks like. I got this from um, Beads Creative on Amazon. I'll turn it this way and then I will turn it this way in case it's wrong. So yeah, I thought we'd just work on it for a while. Gotta get my scissors out of there, put everything back because I have all these beads sitting in the lid. I don't want to drop them. I put them in those little bead jars that I got I got some from Amazon, and I got one whole set one time from um, Diamond Art Club. So that's what I put my beads for beaded cross stitch in. I don't use it for um, diamond painting. I find it to be just not working out for me for that so it worked really great for beads so I that's why I went and bought another one from um, Amazon I think they were between 15 and I don't know 15 20 dollars I don't think it was that much but there was there's a whole case I don't have one out I don't think no I don't see one but there's probably 20 to 30 of these little, I'll show you one that's closed, jars. They're really tiny. They're probably about an inch across. So yeah, they work really great. So what's everybody doing? Is everybody having a good Monday? I am having a good Monday because it's my day. Well, it's my Friday, shall we say. Yay. I'm so glad. I'm ready for it all to be over. I got out the four colors for this so that I could just go ching, 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 ching across the whole thing, which is working okay. It goes a lot faster when I'm sitting on the couch because I can get out one color at a time, but... For today, we're just going to do it this way, and I just don't care. I didn't do very much on this, but I thought we'd come back to it. I love this little picture. It is so pretty. Light. I keep looking at the thing. I had it in a hoop, but that wasn't going to work because it's so small. And I know sooner or later it won't fit in a hoop. And this is the way I usually work them without a hoop. Oh, of course. Of course we have to have a knotted end. Oh, jeez. Could anything else go? So, yeah, last night it decided it was going to rain. Yay. I'd rather have rain than snow. I can work around rain. But, uh, it didn't last for very long. About 15 minutes for each one. I don't know what I'm going to do on my days off. I'm probably stitch. I worked a little bit last night on my... Molly says hi. Molly! I hear you. Jeez Louise. Sorry. You knew I had to hit that, right? I'm telling you. Um, On the uh, linen and thread thing. And then I would spent the other 90% of my time working or watching the uh, videos from uh, Fiber Talk, you know, that they downloaded. They talked to a few of the creators and went and saw, you know, different creators or designers, um, little booths or whatever, you know, little rooms 
that they had there at Nashville. Such pretty stuff. Not, don't get me started. Yeah, I could just go for broke. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I got my, my list and I'm checking it twice because heaven knows I don't want to miss anything. Molly! I don't know if you can see the variations in colors. Some are a little bit lighter than the other. On this, I'm trying to keep it in in frame. Some days I have a a struggle with that. And I have to keep checking the colors to make sure I'm getting it right. Oh, geez, Louise. There are sure some pretty blues. I think that's why I picked this one. It's because it had all these gorgeous blues and and red. Well, turns out that they're like oranges and reds up here in these poppies, but we're not over there yet. But, you know, blue is my favorite color. Always has been. Don't know why. Hang on, we're losing this thread here. get it to lay down there while I get some new thread. And last night I was stitching on uh, let's see what the home of the needle worker. This is a home of the needle worker. And it kept snagging and I'm like what is wrong with this picture? Well come to find out the damn needle was broke. Oh I'm so pissed. So now I gotta like frog out about half of that because I kept thinking well it'll lay down. It'll lay down. It'll lay down. No, it just didn't want to lay down. I can't find my thread magic. It's here somewhere. Unless it fell off the table somewhere. Or got put away. Oh, come on. Seriously? You know, some days I can get this sucker. It keeps... Uh, Okay, we're just going to cut you off about 100 yards away from where I need to put it through the needle. And hope I get it at the right size because my needle, there we go. What do you call it? My needle threader will not work on these beaded, bead, bead needles. Jeez, say that three times. So... Other than that, I, I just don't have any plans. I'm going to stay home and and do some stitching as usual. Unless my daughter decides we need to go to Walmart. There was something. I think when I go to Walmart again, I will pick up another, a few more of these so that I have one thing. I don't have to keep transferring it from project to project. And I find I like the Ooh, I think they're six inches. The six inch hoops better than I like the eight inch. They're easier for me to hold in my hand. So that helps. Get back. Nope. Yep. Okay. Get the right color. But uh, I haven't worked on a, a bead across stitch for a while. Sometimes I'm really in the mood to do it, and others, not so much. So I'm just kind of going with the flow here. Nope. 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 Wrong color. Before I put that on there. I'm looking over here. See, it has a little thing over there. I'm trying to match it all up and stitch and talk at the same time. Some days that's kind of like walking and chewing gum for me. Get two of those. And then we go to that color. Molly! But it's been nice. You know, yesterday it was kind of cloudy, but I mean, it 
got up to be like 44, but it was still kind of cloudy. And looked like it was going to rain all day, and then it finally just barely rained. Five minutes. I'm like, oh my god. Just make up your mind. And it says it's supposed to snow before the end of the week, so mm, we'll see. Sometimes that happens, sometimes not so much. Now, when I first got here about five years ago, March was the... Uh, The worst month. I mean, we would have our most most of our snow in March. I know. Don't ask why. <coughs> and one year, it snowed the first week of June. So, I just have no no idea what it's going to do. But I'm ready for it to be nice weather for about a month. It would be nice. Consistently in the 50s and 60s. But we can't have everything, can we? So we just keep on a moving. And usually this time of year it doesn't last forever. Back there in January and February and December it tends to stay on for a while because it's so cold. But not this time of year. Okay, now I can use that color. It's coming up the edge here. But I just... And the other night, I actually, I wear a long sleeve shirt underneath my work shirt. And I didn't wear it, and I didn't take my hoodie underneath my winter coat, and about froze to death. So last night, I wore both. I'm like, okay, come on, suckers. I'm not going to freeze to death, because I'm usually there after dark. Now, last night wasn't so bad, like I said, because it rained. So, I mean, it was still in the 40s when I left work, but... Usually it's been getting down in the, say, the lower 30s by 9 o'clock. So now that we have the, the time change upon us, you know, it it's not nearly as cool. So. And that's a piece of work. I did fine the first day. Last night I couldn't go to bed for nothing. And I ended up taking some... I got one of those, oh, you know, when you go to Walmart and you get, um, oh, you know, in the health food type section, I got some of that stuff to help me sleep. Right. Uh, I didn't go to bed until three o'clock this morning and I woke up and it was quarter to nine. So I'm like, okay. We're going to get this straightened out. That first week after the time change, it just sucks for me. I can't get it together to save my, you know what. So, I don't know. I'm just weird that way. And it's like, I've been preparing, my whole body's been preparing for it for like a month. And then when it finally happens, it's like, nope, we're not doing this. Oh, this is what this is like? No, not so much. It's like, what the hell? I always have problems during the, we'll call them the equinoxes for sleep-wise. So, I don't know. Come on, get up there. <coughs> I got my coffee over here. I can't talk. And I'm starting to make a, um, a basket of stitch projects, you know, the smalls for uh, Stitch Mania. And I'll just keep adding to it until I get, oh, 15, 20 things going over there. I mean, not started, but this is for May. But that way I can start collecting them as I go. Color, 13. Jeez, I couldn't think what I wanted. I knew I didn't want the dark, dark one. And that way I'll have them all put aside so that I can have my... I don't know if I'm going to do 15 or 30 starts. Like, I need to make 30 starts, but we'll see. But at least I'll have choices, you know? And some of the it the stuff I collect, like, say this Lizzie Kate that I got, you know, 
I might put it in there. I don't know. Is there, I think there's more than one pattern. Dagnabbit. I think it's both of them. It's kind of all broken up. You could do them together or whatever. I think it'd be kind of cute to make a border all in these um, tulips, you know, all the way around that, you know, just kind of make your own thing. I don't know. But anyway, I'm putting them all together. Because May for me is flowers, you know, when all the flowers come up. And I certainly have it. Ah, oh, seriously? <sighs> I finally get it there. I need 13. And then it dropped, it fell off. It went someplace. These beads roll right off of this desk. It's kind of slick. I was watching that fiber talk thing. And uh, Vanna. Oh, crap. She uh, found some kind of stylus. I thought that might come in handy. But my point was, the stylus was kind of square, like like a pen. Like this big pen. It had flat sides, so when you set, set it down, it didn't roll. I thought that was pretty cool. Not that I use a stylus on my... I'm trying to get this knot out, honest guys. It's just about to drive me over the edge. Um, I just thought that was kind of nice, you know, that it had squared sides. Because I'd never seen anybody. I've watched YouTube videos. Good Lord. Are you kidding? What is going on here? Um, Use stylus, but I, I thought they... Well, this had a round point to it, but it like let's say it went that far, and then if I can, like that far, and then the rest of it was like we'll call it octagon shape or squared off or squared, so it wouldn't roll off your thing. But um, I don't know. I just thought maybe it'd help with this. You know, you could pull your thread up. I don't know. It might be more trouble than it's worth. And you're lucky I get those stitches in, let alone whether they're all laying flat. I'm just not that persnickety. Never have been. And I think if you use that stylus, it'd be easier to use on uh, like a scroll where you had both your hands free. So that would help. Oh, well. Can't get that back. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Come on. Get in the hole. Isn't that a pretty little flower? At least it looks like a flower. And this is... I bought this one because it... I didn't know it was quite this small. I thought maybe it was like an eight by ten or something. I didn't. They didn't have, seem to have too big of things. They may now, but I haven't been there in a while to look at stuff. You know, haven't bought a bead project lately. I've been stuck down the rabbit hole with counted cross stitch. So for me, that that's about enough. If it has beads, fine, but, ugh. Yeah, there's having beads and then the the mirabilia. I don't know. Just kind of, some things frighten me. That would be one of them. They're beautiful. I could just sit there and stare at it before I started it, but. All right, I think we're about to finish this one little floor. So, I don't know, tomorrow I got floss tube. 
and maybe I'll know more about what I'm going to do for the rest of the week. We'll see what kind of plans we got. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it. I'm going to bring in now and show you it up a little bit closer. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Y'all have a good rest of your Monday and a good rest of your week. God bless. Bye-bye.